Good morning. Again, we're in the Old Testament, so we're looking at the book of Job today, and I'd like you to turn to that 12th chapter. And we're going to begin with uh, the verses from verse 7 until uh, verse uh, 13. But now ask the beasts and let them teach you, and the birds of the heavens and let them tell you, or speak to the earth and let it teach you, and let the fish of the sea declare to you, who among all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In whose hand is the life of every living thing and the breath of all humankind? Does not the ear test words as the palate tastes its food? Wisdom is with aged men, with long life is understanding. With him are wisdom and might, to him belong counsel and understanding. Individual shared that there was a friend's father who received uh, the dreaded diagnosis of cancer. And yet during the chemo treatment process, he became a believer in Jesus and his disease eventually went in to remission. He was cancer free for a wonderful 18 months, but it returned worse than it ever had been before. And he and his wife faced the reality of the returned cancer with concern and questions, but also with a faithful trust in God because of how he saw them through the first time. He won't always understand why we're going through trials. This was certainly the case of Job. He faced horrendous and unexplainable suffering and loss. Yet despite his many questions, in this chapter of Job, he declares that God is mighty. What he tears down cannot be rebuilt, and to him belong strength and insight. He makes nations great, and he destroys, he destroys them. And throughout this extensive list, Job doesn't mention God's motives or why he allows pain and suffering. Job doesn't have the answers. But still, despite everything, he confidently says, to God belong wisdom and power, counsel and understanding are God's. You know, we may not understand why God allows certain struggles in our lives. We may not understand all of what's going on right now in our lives. But like this individual's parents, we can put our trust in him. The Lord loves us and has us in his hands. Wisdom, power, and understanding are God's. So the questions for you today, what struggle are you going through right now? We're going through a common one, I know, but what other struggles might you be going through right now? And how does it help to know that God is with you every moment? Pray with me. Lord, help me to trust you even when I don't understand what you're doing. Thank you that you hold me in your loving hands. Amen.